Hi, I'm Vittorio Rigato. I'm 27 years old. I'm an investing coach. And today I want to talk about my weekly routine and how I'm able to manage my online business, my investments, and my private life. And I want to talk about this because uh, some friends of mine tell me you have 48 hours in a day because I, I manage to do a fair number of things. Right now I'm at 27. I have uh, an online business that has a team of around 15 people around the world. I helped 300 people worldwide to become confident investors. I can work out four times per week. I travel 10 countries per year. I think I managed to do a lot of things. And so some people ask me to share how I managed to do this, which for some people could be amazing. For others that are much ahead will think, well, that's nothing. But overall, I just want to share my personal experience. And so what I want to talk about is basically my calendar, but first of all, the logic uh, through which uh, I build uh, my day, which is all based on obsession for optimization of time. When you start to invest, that, that at least was the moment for me, you realize that you don't have as much time as you think. I'm fairly certain that a good part of my audience think I want to become a millionaire one day. And it seems like a goal that somehow you'll get there. And I also have, the, you know, this great feeling that I want to go to 10 millions and beyond, uh, but then the differentiation between uh, who just dreams about it and would actually makes it is to realize how much effort there is behind this type of goals. And uh, for example, my realization was when I was uh, working in consulting in uh, Germany and uh, I simply you know, made a couple of calculations. Okay, if I invest these, uh, I think it was 1,000 euro per month because uh, I don't have particular expenses. I mean, I don't have expensive hobbies. Uh, if I invest 1,000 per month for the next uh, 20 years, uh, I get to do 2 millions. But if I consider inflation, it's less. And so I was like, that takes a lot, you know? Like, if I just do what uh, you're supposed to do, which means uh, find a good job, uh, save some money, invest, uh, you don't get as far as you may think when you're just dreaming about it. And so since then, uh, I literally realized the importance of every single minute uh, of our life which doesn't want to be obsession over, oh my God, I'm losing time. Sometimes I want to relax as well, but overall I try to structure my day as much as possible in making, uh, in a way that I get to the end of the day and I think, I feel that I made uh, one step toward my goal. I, maybe it's uh, extreme, but I think that if you get to the end of the day and you feel that you are in the same place of yesterday, you didn't grow in any area of your life, which could be personal, business, investing, it could be just philosophy, I think it's a wasted day. And, you know, some people may say, yeah, but I want to re relax on Sunday. And that's okay. I just feel that we don't have enough time to relax if you want to do something great in life. Okay. So, and I'm not saying you must do. I'm just saying that if you're someone like myself that feels that you have something to do, you have some mission to carry, be ready that it takes, uh, uh, you know, a certain toll on your life. So, Let's talk about my calendar. The way in which uh, it starts, it's uh, on Monday. I have uh, a series of checklists uh, for my business mainly, in which I basically go through these, uh, how the sales are doing, how the ads are doing, uh, how my team is performing. Uh, and then there's also a couple of uh, uh, interesting things that I remind myself to do every week, every Monday. I read my philosophy principles, which are all the things that I learned about myself and the way in which I behave uh, over time. Plus a couple of videos uh, that I think it's easy to, it's important for me to remind myself. Something like uh, that you shouldn't worry about the competition, it, you shouldn't uh, obsess too much over things. Uh, a lot of things that are my lack of qualities, uh, I try to remind myself to always stay there, you know? And so Monday is like this, it's dedicated to the team because without the team I'm nothing and uh, it's uh, a day in which I also have a couple of calls, uh, things like this. Uh, overall, I try to divide my morning, uh, except Monday, I try to keep them as uh, dedicated to me as possible because I just understood that I'm more creative in the morning uh, and uh, more analytical or just with less energy in the afternoon. So I don't take calls in the morning, uh, I just take them in the, afternoon, in the afternoon so that in the morning I have those two, three, four hour slots uh, that uh, I'm able to, you know, just focus. My mornings in general from Monday to Friday are dedicated to from 8 a.m. to 11.30, sure, something like this, to my projects. So a new landing page, a new product, uh, hiring people, a lot of things that are 
you know, that you need to use your brain. Then I work out four times uh, per week. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then in the afternoon, I dedicate it to calls and other minor stuff like helping my team to do all the things regarding the business. And so Monday to Friday, I don't even look at my investments, really. And you know, I have two portfolios. One uh, is a multi six figures portfolio. It's my personal one that I created in the past, I think five years. It has, I think made double the return of the stock market every single year. Not, you know, exactly, but around there. And I have another portfolio, which is a seven figure portfolio. It's the portfolio of my parents. It's a retirement portfolio, much safer. I manage both. And uh, the moment in which I manage them, it's on Sunday morning. Sunday morning, I think I dedicate one hour per week to review my investments and to find new investments that I may be interested about. So analyzing them. And you may think that's it, one hour? Yes, one hour. Because first of all, I do it on Sunday because the market is closed so that I cannot uh, you know, be emotional seeing uh, things going up and down. And second, because the money you make them on the waiting, not on doing a lot of things. So once I found my investments and I'm happy with that, I just take one hour on the weekend to review that everything is going as planned. And if there's nothing for me to do, I do nothing. And this made me, I mean, I think uh, close to half a million at this point. So it's de definitely, definitely helpful for me to use Sunday. And I recommend it to any investor out there. Uh, just to summarize, I wake up around 7.30. I'm not able to wake up at 5 a.m. I tried. It just doesn't work for me because I like to, you know, stay a bit up uh, late in the evening. And so I wake up around 7.30. I have my creative uh, moment from 8 a.m. to 11.30. Then I work out. I eat around 1 p.m. Then in the afternoon, I dedicate uh, all the minor tasks for my team. And then in the evening, usually I have dinner around 8 p.m. And I think one out of two times I eat at a restaurant and that's just because I work at home, you know, and I stay at home all day. And so I prefer to go out uh, just for talking with people. I have my favorite restaurants. They know me by person because I literally go every single week and that's pretty much it. And then in, in the evening, uh, that's the only time in which I, I can do recreational activities like uh, watching anime. I'm a huge fan or just uh, playing uh, some video games with uh, my girlfriend. Right now we are playing Skyrim, for example, for the 10th time, I think. So. I try to not distract myself during the day at all costs uh, because it really, you know, divert your mind somewhere else. So you have like uh, apps uh, to block uh, my usage of uh, social media. I'm an influencer. I almost never touch Instagram. It's funny. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's starting from the, the start of the day, very creative and then slowly relaxing uh, until the evening in which I relax uh, completely. And then I check my investment only on the weekend. So hope this was uh, interesting. I know that I could speak about this uh, much more, but if you want to know more anything about uh, my nutrition plan, uh, or there are also a couple of vitamins that I take to be always consistent. You want to know more about my investing strategy. Just let me know in the comment. I'm totally open to share more about these type of things and uh, hope this was uh, interesting.